decided to do a vlog to document a week in the life of a photographer. I often get asked how many shoots I do a week, what do you do when you're not on a shoot, um, so I just thought I'd see if it's interesting to capture really. I shoot fashion, advertising, celebrity, lingerie, swimwear, kids and a bit of lifestyle. And here are a few of my favourite shoots. Today is Monday and I got up and went to a body balance class. I usually do that on a Monday. I actually find I rarely have a shoot on a Monday. I think clients just prefer to book them Tuesday to Friday so they have that first day to get everything confirmed. So yeah, I get up, have breakfast, do a gym class and then I come back and tend to sit at my desk which is here. I have my website open and actually do go on my own website quite a lot. Um, I find one of the hardest things when you get a new inquiry about a job is to feel confident that you can achieve what's being asked really and I think just looking at what you've achieved so far and reflecting back is a great way to just give yourself that confidence that you can do what's being asked and it's also a good way for me to look and see if there are any gaps or any shoot styles that I can improve on. Something else that happens a lot when I'm working from home is um, I can't actually remember what I ordered, which is a dangerous sign that I internet shop too much. Um, so let's take a look. Something pink. Something else pink. Something else pink. It's quite embarrassing actually. Oh, and a blue perfume dress. So, um, that is Monday really. Um, I won't spend any longer on an admin day because hopefully my week has some more exciting things to come. Morning! So, day two is also going to be pretty short. I'm just off to collect my dad. Um, I booked the day out uh, about two months ago to take him to have a general anaesthetic. I've literally had, I think, four inquiries for this date. Um, there's a saying, something like, if you want a job, book a holiday, which seems to apply so much to my life. So it's the night before a shoot, and so I'm just going through all my equipment Checking, it's all there, charged and ready to go for the morning. Got my laptop and then this is a bag of just general bits. I've um, got a hard drive, gaffer tape, camera batteries, bit of an all sorts bag this one. And then here I've got my pro photo bag, which has got two B1s and batteries in. Being able to carry my lights as a backpack is a dream compared to my huge bones case that I used to lug around and then this is one of my pelly cases so I've got AAA, AA batteries, rechargeable batteries Canon batteries, some memory cards um, a card reader, got a Beats pill, two speed lights my Profoto A1 which is just a dream and you'll see me use later this week I would have thought um, 100mm lens and here are some triggers and then this is my pe main pelly case and it gets a little pink stripe so that I know it's the right one and here I have so I've got my 5D Mark IV 85mm lens, a 24-70 50mm lens and my backup camera Mark II and a 70-200 and then here is my Pro Photo Trigger and some little tripod -y accessory bits So I usually get up and check Instagram One of the other things I do as soon as it starts getting sunny is start checking the weather every day and since I've got some outdoor shoots tomorrow and Friday. So I'm going to load up the car. So this is a little game I like to play so with how much stuff can I carry at once? After two quiet days I'm so excited to go and shoot for Cosmopolitan. Just loaded up the car which is always the worst part of my day. There's MJ. Excited for the sun? Yeah. Are we outside? No. Oh, right. 
<laughs> it's a blue, it's a beautiful day. Waiting for hair and makeup to finish and we're just getting set up. The best when I can unload there, right into the studio. So here was my lighting process for Cosmo. I love studios with natural light because I think it acts as an amazing fill and just adds loads of freshness and then you don't need so many studio lights. So I had the light coming in through, through here to fill and then I had this B1 with a zoom reflector with some scrim on. And at first we got this shot and I didn't like the harsh shadow on the one side from it being at this angle here. So then we moved it to exactly next to the camera and turned it up a little bit and then we got this shot and that is what we went with. Hey, um, so it's half seven and I'm just on my way back from my shoot. Um, went for a little drink with MJ after on Parsons Green because it's so warm. Um, I didn't film too much today because it was a top secret celeb shoot in the mags, not to the August issue. Um, but yeah, looking forward to getting home, getting a bit of sleep and back to shooting tomorrow. Um, it's Thursday and it's so sunny already. Um, I'm just sorting all my equipment out in the flat. Got my tog bags. Um, I'm doing all the styling today. So I've got two tog bags today. In here I've got my camera, my lenses, um, and I've got some batteries and memory cards. And then in here I have some swimwear bits. So these are the maiden ones, which I'm obsessed with. So little pit stop to my parents, just pulled up outside. I also found this in my post, which I'm gonna change into for today. This super cute dress from Dancing Leopard. Um, and then I'm going to wear my dungarees for my beach shoot tomorrow because they're a bit more practical than their little dress. Also random shoot things, there's a whole bunch of bananas in my car because yesterday someone said, does anyone want to take the bananas home? So I said yeah, so now they will probably live in my car. Um, <laughs> a great little snack for the road. So yeah, lighting wise today I'm hoping to use bright sun and get some really strong shadows. Um, but sometimes I plan to do that and then I go into the shade because it's such a nice soft light in the shade and you just get that instant shot. Um, but because there's no client today and it's a test um, for editorial submission, I feel like I need to be a bit braver and try different things because when you're in a client shoot, you don't really have that luxury because you don't have time to experiment. So that's the plan and I'm really looking forward to it and I can't wait to get this swimwear on. So I'm just choosing some location spots. So I wanted to create a really natural look on the model's skin today. So I just built up a very light amount of foundation and buffed it away with the brush and used lots of highlighter. So lots of sort of creams, radiance creams to stick on the cheekbones, top of the nose, a bit on the top of the lip, and some beautiful sort of thick kind of Vaseline-y, the Egyptian Vaseline stuff on the lips that give it a really good gloss. So we're just being a bit naughty in someone's garden. <laughs> <laughs> I love the dappled light and the purple and purple. To just shy away and shoot in the shade although it is much nicer for the team um, I find if you shoot into harsh sun so the sun just comes behind the model's head that looks really nice and then if you get a bit coming through um, if you're in direct sun it can be a bit harsh shadows under chins and eyes and noses and also on the clothes 
um, so I tend not to do that. But sometimes if the model's got glasses on or something and it's from one side, it's amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not sure how good that is. So I just got back from Notting Hill to drop my equipment off and my car and then I'm going to get the train up to London because I'm going to a um, plant-based food festival tonight. Um, luckily when the sun is out I'm just filled with energy and just want to make the most. If this was a cold winter's day I'd feel a bit tired. Um, but yeah the shoot went really well so I'm so pleased with the shots. Um, it was quite a big ask of the model Alex to be standing in swimwear in the middle of like Portobello market and things and we did get so many wolf whistles and guys saying stuff and I did feel really bad. Um, location shoots always such a challenge compared to studio because you've just got so many elements. We didn't have a base today so we were like going from a cafe to cars, changing in cars and um, with the heat it was quite hard work but I love like location elements and Oh, it's just so nice to have so many different things going on in a shot, so it was definitely worth it. Um, but yeah, I hope the model can like recover. We all ended up with headaches as well, um, cause trying to drink water, but um, there's no toilet and things. So yeah, not cut out for weather this hot in England. I think it was 27 when we were out shooting. So how I work is I load all the images into folders. So this is shot six. And then I'll go through, start the ones I like, and then go through those again and keep going down until I end up with my favourites. See, in this shot, I love the shade to really see Alex's face, but I love that the light's just creating a bit of an uneven halo messy effect. Happy Friday! I'm just with Francesca, and we're just driving to South End. We're super excited. It's going to be really hot again and we're going to get some amazing beach shoots and do a bit of a take on traditional seaside with some fish and chip shops and what else are we doing? Doing arcade, I think. Arcade, I think. Candy floss. Yeah, and I'm going to try and make it a bit less pink today. Um, we've got a stylist, which is nice, called Lucas, um, but before you know it, I'll probably be outside somewhere pink. Can't help myself. So we're just getting into the first look on the side of the road. Glamorous. Okay, so we've got South End and we're on our first shot. We're using some beach huts, different colours, right on the sea. So I'm just choosing which colour to do for the first shot. We've chosen this nice blue hut. I'm styling and everything looks great. We've gone for this sort of like beachy, cool 90s vibe with sort of like fun clutches and pastel colours, like sherbetty colours. So so I've just swapped, I was using the 50mm lens but I swapped the 24 to 70 so you can get some really wide angled, a bit more exaggerated poses and get really low and shoot up. Um, I'm just trying to decide with the sun whether I like the harsh shadow. If you show slash, whether I like the harsh shadow or when it's backlit, slash is just completely clean. Lit, there's a bit of a lens flare but I think on this shot I like how the shadow is quite strong on one side so we're going with that for this shot. How are you? I'm good. Have you had an early start today? Yeah, I woke up about half seven, um, took the train to South End, and it's a beautiful day. Um, so I'm really excited to shoot. I've been wanting to shoot with Bruce for like ages. So oh. finally, I've got the chance. And we're here to make some pretty images. Yay! I wanted to show you some of the shots. So these were the ones using the sun. So the shadow's really harsh down one side. But I think it looks really good and Sasha can pull off a really harsh light. And then here are some that were backlit, so with the sun behind. But I don't think they worked as well here. Because Sasha feels a bit in the dark. And the lens flare doesn't show up so well because of all the sky. So yeah, I think I like here shooting with the sun as the main light.
and part actually eating. So it's going really well today, the sun is shining, it kind of feels like we're in LA so we're all very very happy about that. Um, we've had a couple of challenges today, like one of the challenges of um, doing this kind of shoot is that we don't have one location, like we don't have one place we can get changed or get ready, so we're having to work a lot out of the car so there's a lot of like running back and forwards but so far so good everyone's great the team's great so no complaints on my side two shots at random taken about 30 seconds apart and I just wanted to look at the use of the sun. So in this one, the sun is behind the model, it's about here. And actually, whereas on the shoot on Thursday in London, I really enjoyed backlighting the model. Here, I think she just feels a bit dull and the sky is completely white. Whereas here, having the light directly hitting the model from about here, so front hitting what's about here, um, the sky is blue and the shad harsh shadows look really nice. So I think you just need to experiment and not give yourself one rule really. But the left hand side one was shot on the 24 to 70 and then you can get really wide and get the sign in and then I swapped to the 50mm lens to get that kind of intimate portrait and a bit more of a soft depth of field. When you're working in an environment that's quite chaotic, people coming past, you're trying to be quick, it is so good to have a model that will just pose and all you have to think about is lighting and setup and memory cards and things like that and she will just pose. Here she was out in the sun and it does look really dynamic and great but then the light just under the shelter was just so nice and soft that I just had to shoot like that and it was nice to do a few shots that were just <laughs> more in my comfort zone and I love how you see the detail on the clothes, there's no harsh sun hitting it and her face and skin just look lovely. Did I mention I love that swimming costume? It's 7am on Saturday morning and I'm just so excited. I haven't really had a chance to go through any of the images because um, I went straight from the shoots to events on Thursday and Friday night. So um, I just can't wait to get up and go through the shots. So that is what I'm going to do now. So I show, will show you a few. It's always good to have got some good stuff for the gram as well. This is yesterday, a nice new post. And I love this for the gram. Okay, so it's Saturday morning, it's um, 7.48 now. So um, I'm gonna spend a couple of hours going through the images. And yeah, I just wanted to say thanks for watching, what a great week. Um, I had a few dramas in the end yesterday, so um, my tog bag was on the back seat and I'm just if it's recording yeah. <laughs> my tog bag was on the back seat and I had a Peli case with my memory cards in and the Peli case was boiling and also the cards were absolutely scalding. I didn't have my laptop on me. So instead of staying up in London I got all the train way home and then I spent 13 minutes and managing to check all the files were okay and then I headed back into London for the evening because I just wouldn't have been able to relax without knowing that we hadn't removed all the photos so yeah as a amazing and how much I love my job I do find there is kind of technical pressure and other elements um, being a photographer that can be a bit overwhelming at times for instance yesterday in doing something quite small like my talk bag being on the window ledge of the car I could have somehow deleted all the images that everyone had worked for and on a big client shoot, that's a lot at stake if something like that happened. But I think you just need to do everything in your power to guard against it. I've got um, two of pretty much everything and I try and check everything. And then I have great assistants who could help me um, checking focus and things like that. 
and then I back up on set onto a rugged drive like one of these. James has just got up. He's going to be like, why are you up at seven? Um, back up on one of these and then I've got loads of big hard drives as well that I back up onto twice. But then I do start worrying if I was burgled or something, the images would be deleted, but you just can't worry about every single last thing. Weird paranoia. So, because the roars haven't been sent off for Cosmopolitan or the last two days, I decided to put my hard drives and cards in here while I went out the last two nights. But yeah, thank you for watching my week. It's been amazing. I can't wait to go through all the images that I've got and yeah, see what the ultimate vlog looks like. I really enjoyed actually filming the model posing on this camera, which I've never really done video. So that was new as well. I didn't enjoy talking to camera. That has not got easier. Um, but hopefully talking to camera will just help it be a bit of a story and a context. And hopefully I gave a few tips. If I do this again, I'll try and do a bit more technical information. Um, so yeah, thanks so much and yeah, enjoy your weekends, weeks, whenever you're watching.